As the mayor introduced her proposed operating budget today, it's not so much what's in the budget that has people talking. Well, there's still no money for additional police officers. This comes just a day after former police chief Mike Cobol said his frustration with that lack of funding pushed him to retire abruptly ahead of this budget process where he knew he wouldn't get the funding again. The budget does include annual mental health check-ins for police staff, something the department had asked for. Also, a part of the proposed budget, Madison's mayor proposing a $40 wheel tax for vehicle owners in the city. Madeline O'Neill explains why these taxes are becoming more common statewide and where those funds will go. Maddie? Well, funds raised from a wheel tax have to go toward local transportation costs. So part of the fee would help fund the city's bus rapid transit system, an initiative for Mayor Satcher Rhodes-Conway to increase bus usership and decrease ride times. But not everyone is on board. Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway is looking toward the future, hoping a rapid transit bus system will be part of it to help fund the planned dedicated lanes and larger buses. She's looking to the owners of other vehicles. I'm supposed to be retired and, and carefree, and I'm not. So it's kind of scary. Under Rhodes Conway's proposal, Madison vehicle owners like Pam Cleansing would pay a $40 wheel tax as part of registration fees. There's no particular science to it, but the, that level is what we felt was needed, not just for this year, but again for the long term. I just think that it's way too much. Car salesman Keith Norris agrees. People constantly complain about the fact that wheel tax, they don't want it. The proposed fee is on top of a $28 wheel tax. Tax adopted by Dane County a couple years ago. Oh, that's just another pile on, another tax. Lindsay and Norris are in support of the bus system, but ask Rhodes Conway to look in another direction to make it happen. Find another way. Rhodes Conway says she's tried, considering budget cuts. Many of the cuts that we didn't take would have, uh, I think, much more drastic impacts on the community. The mayor says state legislature limits on how municipalities can raise revenue makes the wheel tax the most realistic option. You're seeing that across the state as more and more cities turn to vehicle registration fees to raise needed revenue. According to the nonpartisan Wisconsin Policy Forum, in 2011, four communities had imposed a wheel tax. By the end of 2017, that number went up to 27. There really aren't very many additional options. Cleansing says if car costs keep rising, soon she might not have many options either. Oh, the bus pro, uh, is very important to a lot of people um, that can't afford a vehicle and that may be drive. me shortly down the road. The Wisconsin Policy Forum points to property tax limits imposed by the state eight years ago as possibly part of the reason more municipalities are turning to the wheel tax. Now, if Madison passes theirs, it would be implemented sometime early next year. All right, Madeline O'Neill reporting. Maddie, thank you.